A plea deal ends a five-year ordeal for the family of an American Airlines employee murdered by the man she loved. It all went down in a Miami courtroom this afternoon. Let's get right to local 10 News reporter Glenna Milberg. She's live with the details. Glenna. Joel Rodriguez is his name. Under this plea deal, he'll be in prison probably till he's in his mid-70s. And the family of his victim had to sign off on it. So here's the story today. It seems like this family had more compassion for him than he has for them. Listen to how the judge has to almost convince him to apologize. Is there anything you, Mr. Rodriguez, would like to say before I pronounce sentence at this time? You have nothing to say to the family of uh, your victim? I can say that I'm sorry. If I can turn the clock back, it'll be different. Joel Rodriguez never even looked at the family sobbing in the court gallery. They brought a photo of Ruth Fuentes, Rodriguez's girlfriend, whom he shot to death five years ago this month. Did you find his apology at all sincere? I was hoping that Joel would express some more remorse and frankly I was disappointed in this reaction. Fuentes and Rodriguez both worked for American Airlines. That's her taking tickets at the gate years ago and that's where colleagues saw them together for the final time. <laughs> Fuentes was found shot to death at home. A significant trail of evidence led to Rodriguez's arrest in New Jersey a month later. Significant enough to lead to today's plea deal, 25 years in prison instead of life, a deal agreed to by the family. Yet if Ruth was here today, we know that she would forgive you. That's just how she was. I am not my sister. Before he was taken away, Rodriguez, through his attorney, asked the judge to recommend that he be allowed to be in prison in a facility in the North Florida area. Apparently that's where his family is and he wanted to be close to them. That request went all but ignored. I'm Glenna Milberg reporting live in Miami this afternoon, Local 10 News.